Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Curcio and I'd love to welcome you here to Lisa's Stamp Studio. My name is Gina Hawley, also known as her daughter. We are so glad that you're here with us tonight. It is Monday, February 27th. The year is 2023 and we are streaming live yes. right here on YouTube. What are we doing tonight? Tonight we are Ooh. making the ever re-requested five minute card making challenge. You guys loved it last time. Yes. We're bringing it back. Who will win? Mm, team Lisa or Team Gina and Baby? <laughs> I know, I'm kind of outnumbered, right? Two against one. Let's go. <laughs> We're so glad that you're here. And we want to make sure you know all about the project sheet tonight. Yes. You're going to be able to find that down in the video description when tonight's live stream is over. That's going to contain... All the cutting dimensions, full color photos, and a complete supply list for all six of those cards that we're going to be challenging I each know. other to. I know. Lots of fantastic <laughs> projects for you tonight. All right. I'm also going to tell you we love to interact with yes. you. So you're going to need to log into your YouTube account, which is required by YouTube, in order to chat either during the live stream or here at the replay because we come back. Oh, and we, we all bring every single comment. <laughs> we really love to hear your feedback. And we want to let you know about tonight's moderating. Yes, it's not going to be me because I'm here. She's here. <laughs> but we do have my dad, also known as Bob the Builder or Bob Curcio. Yeah, his name is Blue. Yep, and you can't miss it. He's going to provide all the links for you. But because he's not so good at the whole stamping no, no, thing, no, no. we have our really <laughs> great friend, Marion Lynn Hart, here. Yeah. Her name is not in Blue, so just make sure you look out for her. If any stamping-related questions, yep. just at her in the live chat. She will. She's more than happy to help you with those stamping things. And we know how you guys always help each other. And we yes. love that. All right. Are we ready to do this? No. All right. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now a little bit of how this is going to work. Um, very pregnant. Very. 30 weeks pregnant. Mm -hmm. We both can't really fit in this little corner anymore. Not possible. <laughs> She's already warned me she might have to sit down. Yes. Which is totally fine. Yes. I said, that's fine. We've got a little stool here. We're going to stamp individually, and we're going to set a timer on your screen. Yes, you're going to see it. So you can watch the yep. countdown, and we may cheer each other on, and we may razz each other just a, a little, little bit, because it's fun. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to lose. All right, let's go. All right, let's, go. <laughs> let's go. Let's try. You're first. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move the buttons up here out of the way so we can reach them. That's where the timer is. I'm just praying. Make, I don't... make sure you hit the timer. Yeah, that's don't kinda... don't cheat by taking some. See, you're already cheating. Why am I cheating? You you already getting your stuff ready. I'm just putting it near me, sweetie. Okay, okay, Can't okay, okay. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. I just need to know the parameters of what's allowed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very competitive over here. I see that. All right, here we go. <sighs> All right, here we go. go. <laughs> All right, card base. Old Olive already scored it in half because a girl needs every second she can get. Right. And I'm using that handy dandy bone folder. Now I'm using a piece of basic white cardstock here to lay on my designer series paper. Gina, look at that paper. I love it. Okay, so we're going to do a half and half thing here. This is a layout that you can use with any designer series papers. And I want you to remember that tonight. When you see our quick cards, not only are they quick and yes. they're really cute, but wow, layouts. Layout. Oh wait, let's go this way. You know what? It really doesn't have a direction, does it? No, I think they did that on paper. I have to tell you that when you're being timed, it is incredibly stressful. You can't really think about anything. You have to just go. Yeah, you just have to hope for this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to butt these up together. But you know what? If you're like me, you don't cut perfectly straight all the time. Let's work on the bottom half first because we're going to hide that center. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, I've got a piece of ribbon here that I already cut. This is old olive. And I love how it coordinates. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use this because it's faster than a glue dot. Did you know your Stampin' Seal Plus is like crazy strong? and works really, really, really good for this. So I'm gonna take those raw ends and I'm gonna tuck them to the back. I don't like to waste all that ribbon that you can't see, right? So look how much I save. That's a good four inches, right? That's good, I like it. Okay, all right, now this is gonna go on the card base. Look how quick we're going. Let your designer series paper do the work. And this is celebration paper. By the way, it's free right now through Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, don't forget it. Last day tomorrow for celebration, right? I'm using celebration products tonight. You're using celebration products tonight. I know, I know. Wait, perfect. Perfect. Well, guess what? Did you know that the celebration free paper selection coordinates with this? Now, Love I pulled it. out the words, I already die cut this because you know, Every a second. girl only, Every has, only has three minutes. About three minutes left. All right, here we go. I have the word thanks from that stamp set. Photopolymer is going to really help me to get this nice and even, right? All right. I don't try not to get my old head in the camera because your mom's much older than you. Let's see how'd I do. <gasps> Pretty good. Not too bad. Yeah. Gotta close this because I wear it all the time. All right, we're not done yet. 
I'm going to take this and we are going to flip this over. I don't even know which direction I want this in, but I'm going to add a little adhesive here. And we're going to do this zigzag thing, right? Back and forth, back and forth. Cute, cute. Thank you, thank you. Just kind of fills up some dead space sometimes and you just don't know what to do. I mean, of course, I have no idea how this really looks and I really want it to go this way. Yeah. Isn't that the great part about adhesive, yes, right? Really okay, so we're gonna flip this. I'm not done. How you much gotta time? Hurry, man. Oh man. You're cutting it close. Oh my, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to use that without a piece of scotch tape there, but where's my take your pick tool? Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Do you ever stamp by yourself? And it's really easy when there's nobody to talk to, but you add a friend to the room, or in your case, you. A banter. And I'm totally messed up. This there. Designer paper. No. no dye for this one. I know. But some of the designer paper fits in that dye I just showed you. Again, that was called Fragrant Flowers. Here's the tip. Leave some of that paper around the outside. Don't cut right on the line. Do you see how I'm moving the paper and I'm not moving my hand? You're doing this so fast and so good. Well, that's only because I've been doing it 25 years yeah, and I feel I a lot of pressure thing. right now. And I'm like, please, Lord, don't let me cut off a leaf. <laughs> that's all I'm saying right now. I mean, all last right. time we were alive together, you cut your hand. I so. know. Who was here for that <laughs> live stream? That was so embarrassing. All right, we're going to flip this over. How much time I got? You got a minute 25 left. Oh, man, I got this. You do. Okay, I'm going to add gems then because I got time. Oh, wait, I'm flying paper all over the place. Um, this is going to fit a little different than my first card. Okay, I got to add these because, you know, I go into withdrawals if I don't have them. These are the new adhesive back milky dots. Now, this is a little bit different than the one that's inside your project sheet just because, you know, I get finicky and I'm not quite sure what I want to use. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like this on here because it's very tone on tone. But, you know, I think I do. You did it. Woo! Look at that. Who says I couldn't do it? Okay, it needs a little bit of a haircut and it's not perfect, but there you go. I'd rather show you the really pretty one, but it's in the project sheet. It is, and that's pretty. We it, well, know. it's that's a, a good five-minute well, card. Yeah, and it you is. put together uh, in it, less than a well, minute. I kind of lost my little end there, but that's, that's yeah, okay. That. I get, it, there, I yay! Thank you very much. Thank yes. you, thank you. <laughs> All right, awesome. All right. And now give us a second. Step, we step gotta, aside. Step I need, aside. Yeah, she needs yeah. ample space here. <laughs> I need a lot of room. <laughs> I also realized that, you know, pregnancy brain is a real thing. I don't know if people know this. Uh, yeah, I've been pregnant. Honey. Remember I, I had you? I just learned that you literally lose 8% of your brain. For like, real? It doesn't function. Really? So I'm functioning on less than normal, okay? And one of the things <laughs> I forgot to grab was a blending brush. So if you can grab that for oh, me. Oh, yeah, I got you. That would be fantastic. What color do you need? A night of navy. Oh, a dark one. Yep. Figures you're gonna pick one I don't have it for. So guess what you get? What do I get? You get a brand new blending brush. To Love hide. it. Okay, perfect. This must have touched something, but I think it's fine. All right, let me get my stuff set up, and then we'll get going here. Do you need this too, maybe? Yeah, why not? I'm thinking blending brush. You might need some scratch paper. Yeah, you're thinking of all the things I haven't thought of. I'm going to tell you right now, the cards tonight are super duper cute. Yeah. So okay, before we get started. Who loves cards that are not regular cards? Me. Me? Me. This is a four by four card. All you have to do is four by eight, score it in half by four. There you go. You got a four by four card. I love this. It's simple, easy. You can put it on the outside of a bag. Yep. And the other thing is we're going to make a masculine card. Everybody needs one of those. So let's start the timer. You ready? Okay. Set, go. All right. What we're doing tonight is we're going to make the masculine card real quick. I'm using Adorable Owls celebration stamp set i'm also it. pairing it with elephant parade because you know what it's got that perfect balloon that yes. i want so i'm gonna yes. go ahead and use that so those are the two i'm using you can see i already stamped them listen if i'm doing a five minute card i kind of need to work ahead <laughs> i'm small right now okay so coming a little bit of slack i'm using the knight of navy blends they come in a combo pack light and dark you can see um, that they're double edged here. So you have your thin edge on one side notated yeah. here and your thicker brush edge here. Mm -hmm. What I love about these is they're alcohol blending markers, which means that they blend together and they make you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color tones. No lines. No lines. So let me show you how this works real quick. I'm going to color this as fast as I can <laughs> because, you know. You've got time. You're doing good. Oh, You're doing you good. You've got a lot of time. It's you don't stressful. Know. Isn't I it? move really slow now. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot happening here. All right, so I put the, my light down. It is alcohol. You have to let it go up a little bit. I had to let it evaporate. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go with my dark. I'm going to shadow this balloon just a little bit. So I'm just going to focus on that right-hand side. Okay. Let it evaporate. Yeah, blow, blow, blow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Time. Time. <laughs> All right, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to blend that dark into this light. And what you're going to see is it's going to start 
blending these two colors together, which is going to mimic that shade. And once it's, it is fully blended, it's going to look a little bit like that. Yeah, okay. look at that. And you cut that out with your scissors? Cut it out with my scissors, but the good thing is that this has a die. Oh, from the but elephant But you know, I, I love cutting, so. Yeah. Okay. awesome, awesome, awesome. And the next thing is we did cut out our owl, okay? Super so, cute. This is what we're going to be working with. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do some blending. This is a scallop circle from the layering circles dies. Yeah, love that and I don't set. want this to be missed ever. It's probably my favorite dye staple yeah. set. Yeah, yeah. Um, that in this in this rectangles right uh the, yeah the stitch yeah. rectangles and i really like the stylish shapes. stylish um, shapes are amazing so if you've not ever blended before this is how you do it i'm going to open up my ink pad i'm just going to swirl my blending brush right in it it's a brand new one so i'm going to make sure i press a little bit harder and you know it's right. funny i use a clear block you use it right in the pad right in the pad. and you know what there's no wrong way right just different exactly so i went off a little bit just mm -hmm. to take off that immediate kind of ink right pretty, there. Pretty, All I'm going to do is pretty. focus kind of right in the middle. Uh-huh. Not always going right to the edge because I want some of that white. Okay? Right. So we're going to do that. Rub off the excess. Everyone always asks, how do you clean these? How do you clean these? That's exactly how we clean them. Right. And I'm going to cover this up. We use these then dedicated for our dark blues. We do. We do. You can wash them. You can, for sure. All right. Let's put this together because this is the fun part. So now I'm going to bring back in my base, which is, again, four by four. Mm -hmm. This is from Regency Park. Yeah. I love paper. this designer series paper. Double sided. I'm running out of time. We cannot <laughs> be selling things right now. OK, here we go. All right, so here we go. So put some this adhesive on. This oh. <laughs> I want you to know something. When you do a YouTube live, we may make it look easy. It's not. <laughs> We make so many mistakes and we do kind of practice. Too now, busy. I have not seen her cards until just today and they're yeah. adorable. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back here. Hold on. What I would normally say, balance. Today, no. <laughs> We're just going to go, you know, balance. You need to balance it. Not today. This one's going local. Not when you're being timed. Nope. Right? We're going to go local here. Okay. Set right in the center. Cute. Now where's my owl? Perfect. I'm going to need a little bit of glue, but we don't have time for that. So <laughs> adhesive. <laughs> Okay. This is, I'm dying over here. It's okay. hysterical. Just a little bit adhesive. I'm not doing well. We're going to put this right in his hand. Look at how adorable. Oh my gosh. Come on. Precious, precious, okay. precious. Flip him over. Precious. Again, we have to down balance you know, the dimension. Balance it, but not That's really. <laughs> okay. Gina. You are in rare form. This tonight. one's going to be hand delivered. <laughs> and we're just going to put him right about here. Okay. Very now, cute. we need to stamp the greeting. Almost forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Do you oh, have no. Okay. I did cut it. Oh, perfect. I did. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Panicking. I'm not doing well. Oh. I dropped it. Oh, now I can't that. reach it. You can't undrop it. Okay. Oh my gosh, we've never, ever, ever had something so silly. So for those of you visiting for the first time, we want you to know it's not typically like this. All right. Perfect. But so, we're doing something fun tonight. Now I'm taking my memento ink pad. I'm going to ink that up real quick. I'm going to focus this towards the left hand side. Excuse my head. Cute. And I'm just going to stamp it. Now, if you don't know how to make a quick banner tip, let me show you because I'm going to run out of time. So <laughs> here we go. What you're going to do is put it to the side. You're going to cut right down the middle with your paper snips. And you're going to meet that from the edge to the edge. Oh, my gosh. You had to add that? Your father did. Oh, thanks, Dad. Beautiful. Bob the Builder has to have his touch right, I'm just going to go over. It's fine. <laughs> but it's worth it because you're almost done. I'm almost done. Now, we're going to do kind of what she did. So instead of a five-minute card, it's a five-minute, 30-second card. Yeah. If you don't try to sell things, you know, it's, <laughs> it goes better. I don't really think we have to sell it. I think it sells itself, don't it you, does. in a way? I mean, seriously. Okay. Athletic. So now I'm going to snip. Cute. Snip. Cute. Okay. Now dimensionals. What's crazy is you both, you and I did the uh, little ribbon thing. Yeah. In different ways. This is a great way to use up those scrap ribbon pieces, too. Oh, gosh, you're throwing dimensional backings into the black memento oh, ink pad. That's what I'm here for. This is what the mom does. She cleans up. And, you know, nothing's complete without a little bit of Got bling. bling bling. Oh, these are all huge. Well, I had another package, but I guess you're using all big ones. I'm using all big ones. Here we go. Okay, so these are the black matte dots. And I'm just going to be putting these in threes. If you've been here before, you heard about my threes. Always add your embellishments in threes. Odd numbers are great threes. Yeah. 
We're Five. closing for the eye. Yep. Not bad. I think probably four minutes and something extra. Uh, so maybe five, six, maybe six and a half but minutes. But I wasn't talking about, you know, the alcohol blends. Right. And, you know. Yeah, we're doing things that they wouldn't be doing okay. at home, obviously. Yes. Five so, minute card, I promise, once you cut everything. So cute. Yep. All right. Very good. Okay. We've got to and this is great. This is how well things are going. I have the doing great. and I have mine. All right. All right. We got to clean up the mess because I got to come in with the next thing. You know, it's so funny when we actually get together to do the live stream with you and we see each other's cards, we always get a good giggle when we find out that we have some duplicate ideas, which, you know, is not a bad thing. All right. So we're moving her stuff out of the way and I'm bringing my stuff in. Hold on. Because we got to change out stamp sets. Bear with us. Very informal night tonight, as you can tell. All right, I'm moving in. I kind of got to wait till she moves because God I'm bless sorry. her. She's twice the size. <laughs> That's all I'm going to tell her. But my grandbaby's growing. It's pretty exciting. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Timer, here we go. Let's go. All right, card base, four by four. Who knew that we were going to do the exact same thing? I certainly didn't. All right, so now I've got a small piece of cardstock that I'm bringing in with some grid paper. This is just a scrap. You're going to love this layout, my friends. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, pumpkin pie. Here we go. Oh, gosh, I'm already stressing. I'm going to get this done. I'm inking this up. <laughs> I'm turning this sideways. And I'm going to stamp one of them here. Some of you already have the stamp set. These are all celebration stamp sets. Isn't this fun? All right, stamping out the excess. I right. like this. Barb said Gina should get 10 minutes because she's crafting for two. Oh, gosh. I'm with you, Barb. Apparently, Barb is on your team. Yes. Okay, again, pumpkin pie here. I'm stamping off. And then look, look to the detail. Don't you love that? So here are my little carrots and I'm stamping Cute. off. Okay. It's really hard to do this and not like talk about all the cool things we're using. But I love, this is two-step stamping. It gives you all the detail. All right. I'm moving on. My carrots need some sort of a stem, right? So I am going to come in with, where's my pair of pizzazz ink? Here it is. But I don't want them too, too dark. So there's a topper inside of there. So I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp off again to lighten these. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one here, Cute. stamp and put another one here and stamp in here. But I wasn't done because I thought it needed a little bit more dimension and I'm going to make a grid out of this when I'm all finished. So I'm moving over here. This I think is yours to garden green. And look at this little, like I call it the parsley top. I don't even know what mm -hmm. it is, but it was kind of long. So watch. When you've got those long stems on your stamp, you don't have to even ink up the whole thing if you don't want to. Check that out, right? So I'm taking just a little bit and we're putting it here and a little bit and we're putting it here. Okay, so that kind of yeah. gives you, yeah, and again, we're working really darn fast here. Okay, I'm ready to move on because I have other pieces. Look at these two pieces. Those are going to be coming in in a second. Are you ready? Okay, now we're going to take this piece of paper. I want to make sure I got this going the darn right way. It goes this way. I'm going to use early espresso ink. I'm starting to stress on time. You got it. Okay, you good. Got two minutes and 40 seconds. I'm stamping a bunch all the way over here. I'm hoping you don't see my head. I'm sorry. And then I'm taking the word thanks. This is all from that free stamp set during celebration. Ends tomorrow. You can choose any celebration product of your choice with a $50 order. If you like to spend a lot, like me, then here are things in the $100 level. Ready? We're going to rip because we're going to make a full little dirt mound out of this, okay? And then what we're going to do is bring in the sponge dauber right here and the crumb cake ink. And we're just going to brush this up to make it look a little bit more realistic. I love this because your finger goes inside. We're going to sponge around those edges, yeah. okay? We're going to make it look a little dirty. Great dimension. Yeah, and you know what? Everybody can rip paper, yep. right? Okay, so there we go. We got that. I wish you were being my assistant tonight. I can actually make you like put it all together. Here we go. We're ready to put this together. So we're going to take this one and we're going to add adhesive. And we're going to turn this sideways because I can't do anything straight. And I'm going to go like so. All right, then I'm going to take this orange one. This is from the um, Regal's Designer Series Paper Collection. And I'm going to leave a little space here. You see me trying to line this up? I don't do much perfect, so here we go. It's going to just be good. Garden green. I'm going to use the floral side tonight. And that is going to go here. Oh, my gosh. Cute. Okay, I don't think I have it lined up perfect, but you're going to get the idea. Here we go. Dimensionals. Oh, my gosh, I just might make this. You're going to make it again. Am I so really? Oh you my have gosh. a whole minute. I have a whole minute? Oh, I can sit and 
gosh, I could drink my water. All right, here we go. This is going to go here. But wait, because you know I love embellishments. Here comes the glue dot. Let me cute, grab cute, my little cute, glue dot. Cute. Take that. Did it attach? It did. I always like to press the ribbon on the glue dot. And then we're going to put that there. And of course, this definitely needs a little bit of a haircut. It's a little out of proportion, isn't it? There we go. Yay. Yay. Look 20 at me. Seconds to spare. <laughs> That's so good. All right. All right. All hey. right. That's All right, annoying. I have a huge mess with it. Hold on. That's so annoying. <laughs> Isn't that annoying? <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. I'm going to pull out my really pretty cards. You know, I'm competitive. I'm yeah. Oh, yeah. If there's nothing wrong with friendly competition. Friendly right? competition. Let me set mine up. You know what's funny? What? We're using the same stamp set. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Look at I, I got perfect. this. Perfect. It's awful. Oh, that's okay. I'm not using grass. that one. That's perfect. You aren't? No. Really? I want to show you did something different with this set to get the same look? I mean, it's quite the same look. I knew I had a five-minute card challenge. I couldn't be doing two-step stamping, okay? We don't have time for that. <laughs> all right. Let this me just get fun. my stuff together. It's stressful. Do you need all this stuff? Um, yeah, let me just just leave it there. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. So we're going to start with the card base. I'm using pumpkin pie, regular size. I'm going to put it in half, bring in my full. Oh, can you see my timer? timer? Sorry. Sorry. Can't be a cheater. Sorry. My goodness. Sorry. Okay, right. here we go. Okay. Taking off a few seconds. It's fair. All You're right. doing okay. Put my bone folder. I'm going to set this aside for just a second, okay? We're going to do some stamping. I'm going to show you how easy this is. I am using the same stuff. Let me go ahead and grab the pumpkin pie. We are using, what's it called again? Thanks a bunch. <laughs> All right, so before you saw her doing two-step stamping. It's so cute, isn't it? I decided not to do two-step stamping, but what I'm going to need to do is leave room for five of these carrots. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to maximize space, I'm just going to turn them inside out like this. So Look one way, that. other. One way, so another. So you didn't do the two step, just solid. Just did solid, okay? So I'm going to oh. keep doing this five times. Oh, isn't this Four. slick? Okay, five. I'm just showing you how easy this is, okay? I'm going to wash that off. Now I'm going to bring in my granny apple green. Close this because that's, that's a mess. I know, right? And now I'm going to stamp the leaves or toppers five times you can get this on one four and a quarter by five and a half sheet okay so this is everything you're gonna need for your card yes and okay. i didn't do very well there but you can do it all right don't hate me more fussy cutting but i'm gonna show you how easy this is okay i already got one prepped so i cut a strip watch how easy this is with a solid image you're just going to go ahead and trace that outside, leaving yourself a nice white border. Yeah, that's the key, isn't mm -hmm. it? The tip also is to move your hand, not to move the scissors. It's going to give you nice rounded corners. Yeah, so you're turning the paper. Yep. Yep, smart, smart, smart. All right, and so we're going to come around that corner again, just like this. And you can see that's what you need to do. And you get them all done. So when you're done, you have all five of them. Bring those in. Wow. With the toppers. I actually need this one. And normally, I would probably use, you know, green glue, but not today. Really? We don't have time for that. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to redeem myself here. No, you got this. You got, I got this. this. And we're okay. just going to say baby, you know, kind of slows you down a little bit. Baby does. Can we talk about that? Anybody <laughs> else? <laughs> we um, just moved to a new house and we got stairs. Whew. Never had stairs before. It's quite the workout, it isn't is, it? It is the workout, but this is what I keep saying. I'm going to have really nice calves come delivery. <laughs> and you know what? That's all I care about. Oh, well, healthy babies. All that matters. Healthy you, all healthy right. baby. So here we go. Putting these toppers on. Super cute. You can do this with, you know, adhesive. It's that strong. You know, and this is a great project for the kids as well. So if you're going to get together around Easter and you're looking for some things to keep them busy, you can even let them stamp these solid images. It's that easy. Yeah. yeah. And let them cut them out. You know, they're probably not going to make theirs as perfect as yours if they're younger kids. But this is just a fun, busy project. Yep. And so I'm just doing Cute. that. Okay, cool. So now I need to come back to my base. You're doing good. You got two minutes. I'm going to do some more stamping here. I'm going to show you how to use some images in your stamp set as background, which oh. is really important because I think this is sometimes overlooked when we're stamping. So I'm just going back to the pumpkin pie. There's you these might need this. lines that you can see that come in 
uh, the stamp set. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to scatter these. So there's no rhyme of reason here. I'm going to push you up a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead go. and stamp randomly. Oh, so you lose the little texture marks for your background. Yes. And so mm -hmm. this is going to help give you that dimension that maybe a 3D embossing folder would give you or a full background stamp. But you don't really have to grab one of those because you can just use the items that are already in there. I really like there. that already in that already come in your stamp set and what's great is you can use that image with other stamp sets exactly it makes a really simple textured background. very interchangeable very cute okay so I now like that. let's put this together so i have a sheet of white and then i also have some designer series paper dandy designs dandy designs you know we love to see it it's mm. from uh, oh sorry you still out there that's fine um it's my adhesive you don't care right <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna layer this real quick just like so, Cute with a blue background. Blue I background, like the pop. Okay, you can kind of see where we're going here. I'm going to go ahead and put these up on dimensionals. Remember, always, always, always balance. Unless you're doing a five minute card challenge, then we just focus <laughs> on the four corners. Okay. Oh, so coming boy. back. No, too much. All right. You are in rare form tonight. I'm now we're going to center this. Cute. Okay, so we got something really cute. Oh, I missed a step. I don't know how to tell you this, but you're not going to make it. Not going to make it again? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. You know, I'm feeling Great. pretty good because the last time we did this challenge, you, you almost whipped my butt. <sighs> okay, it's fine. I will be redeemed. <laughs> okay, it's okay. okay, it's okay, okay. Because wait until you see this card. All right, all right. So what I'm going to do now is these are larger than this section, which right. I loved because I it gives too. some, you know, bump here to the card. So what we're going to do is just how we stamped it. We're going to go up, down, up, down, switching every so often. So here we go, adding some more. Oh, wow. How cute is this? Okay. And I like it because it's easy. You know, we don't often think of using repetitive images on a card mm -hmm. in multiples. And again, here's the secret, odd numbers. Odd numbers. Because you did, looks, if I'm counting, you did five, five, right? Yep. So you're looking for odd numbers. Now, even if you want to do three, they could stop there and add a greeting, right? Yep, exactly. And that's another thing I'm going to probably show you is that I don't always like to put greetings on my cards because I don't always know what I'm going to need it for. Right. So I usually don't. And then I put a greeting on last when I'm about to send it to whoever I need to send it to. I do the same. Or I just put a sentiment on the inside and let the card speak for itself. Right. Yeah, sometimes we just need a note card. Exactly. You know, the hardest cards for me to make are sympathy cards. Mm, yeah. And sometimes you just don't know what to put on the outside. And you're or figuring. What to say. Yeah. They're, they're figuring you're, they're getting a lot of things that say, say sympathy on it already. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just want your card just to be kind of a neutral, right? Greeting. Exactly. Now, it wouldn't be done unless we added some ribbon. Ooh. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this ribbon. Okay. This is very thick. So I'm going to show you what you can do, and that's cut it right down the middle. Really? All right. So what I'm going to do is just cut it right down the middle. They're, you're off camera. They can't see you, but you're, they got gotcha. you. Cut it right <laughs> there off. There you go. Listen, I have to do everything really close well, to you. Well, you're know? really far away, too, because you have this big baby I got a big baby <laughs> You're just going to have to trust me here. I'm cutting right down the middle. Yeah, she's, you're coming into camera right okay. now. So all you have to do is cut, cut. I have 20 inches here, so <laughs> one second. I don't need all of these. Wow. Now, how about fraying? Okay, so I wanted the fraying. Yeah, I because... bet you did. It's going to look real rustic on there. Yeah, because I thought it would look really cool. So if I did this right, I would have tucked this before. Uh-huh. kind of forgot about that. So we're going to do some card surgery. Okay. So I need glue a glue dot. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. You, okay, I just tied this on here today, okay. so it's good and tight. I gave you your own roll right there. Would you prefer that one? Sure. It's a lot looser. I tie a ribbon around my glue dots so that they don't unravel. I'm at the top of your screen here, if you're watching. That allows me to pull the ribbon back and just dispense one glue dot at a time rather than dispensing the whole roll and Oops. wasting them. So what you're doing is you're tucking it here. Yep, so I put it on the edge, and now I'm going to tuck it underneath. So now that glue dot's mm -hmm. behind there. Card surgery, love Card it. Surgery. You know what? We're not the only ones who have an afterthought, right? They're like, oh, I should yeah. have added the ribbon. And you're thinking you can't do it because your card is already finished, but you still can. I'm telling you that take your pick tool that Gina's using is our third hand here. We can't live without I this I used tool. to hate it. I used to always make love fun it. of you, but now I can't go without it. It's the best $10 you're ever going to spend. It has a putty tip on one side, which will pick up the small pieces as well as sequins. There are interchangeable tips on this end. This one happens to be the paper piercing tool attachment. 
Looky, okay. looky, looky and now cute. I'm just going to use the excess here. And I love the fraying with the carrots and the stitching in here in the back. That's super cute. Thanks. I thought it made it really like whimsical. I it love gave it. A lot of dimension. Super, super cute. So there you Gina. go. You cut the edges, you give know. Them, yeah, make them pretty. Make them pretty and all let right. them fray. All right. All right. That's, that's super cute. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Cute. Okay, super cute. All right. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, this last card, I don't know if I'm going to make the five minutes, but you know what? I'm feeling a little redeemed. I have to move these because you know what's going to happen with all these on my, my work surface? They end up in my ink pad. Does that happen to any of you? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I'm making a little room here. We work in a tight space. Let me get my ink pads because I'm going to need those. Let me move my stamps. And I my stamps. Oh my heavens, Gina, look at all these stamps I need you for this card. Show them, okay. show them, show them, show them. All right. No, not these. This one and this one. I don't. That's a lot. This. this is a lot for right. paper, but I love photopolymer. All right, I'm gonna have to dig in my box. All right, let me find my cardstock. Evans to Betsy. This is a real <laughs> challenge. Okay. Can I just go on the record to say I really like stamping better when I'm not being timed? Are we good? All right. I got you. Ready? Uh, I think so. Go. All right. Granny Apple Green. God, I love this color. And I'm going to fold that in half. All right. I've got a white cardstock layer that's going to go here. Nothing fancy. You know I'm in a hurry if I don't have my silicone craft sheet nearby. Oh, my heavens. Little adhesive in those corners. And again, I am looking to sunder this. It has a very narrow border. I did a one-eighth of an inch. And, of course, you can tweak that, but you're going to see why. Same Dandy Designs Designer Series paper. This always cracks me up when we both pick... Similar it's stamp so sets. Versatile, though. It, like, this is, I'm perfect. so sad to see this paper going away after tomorrow. It is my favorite. The color palette and the patterns are so generic. It doesn't matter how old you are or what gender you are. It's just perfect. Okay, this is going to go down here. Now, listen, you may not necessarily love our cards, but you are going to gleam lots of layout ideas by what we're going to show yes. you tonight. All right. And that's the point of tonight. Exactly. To have fun, but also yeah. to give you some ideas. Yeah. All right. Next. I already did this. I die cut three small stitched squares. Love them. Okay. And I'm going to use these independently. So I'm going to start with the black memento ink. And I am going to pull out this adorable frog image. Okay. Side note, you know I don't like frogs, right? <laughs> yeah, because we have had a horrible story uh, when Gina was actually very little, right? Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. You want me to tell them? Why don't you tell? Well, I stamped this. Okay, so you can focus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the table just moved. Yeah, don't fall on okay. the floor. Okay, that would not uh, be Oh, yeah, good. we were living in Hawaii, and everything in Hawaii grows bigger and larger. That's just kind of sure how does. Hawaii goes. Yep. And in our backyard, there was a giant toad, but it was a special kind of toad. What what kind of do you remember what kind of toad it was? Uh, prehistoric, it I call it. Prehistoric. It wasn't normal. It was, it was not normal. And I just remember her screaming, like <laughs> off, the, like her head was I coming off, like time. she was dying. Oh my gosh. And I remember our neighbor had to come over and rescue her. And the only way that they could get this toad out That's of the awful. lawn was to basically hit it with a shovel. It was, oh, you guys, I want to tell you, bigger than a dinner plate. I'm not even exaggerating here. It was huge. And then when it jumped, its feet would, you know, go out and explode. And ever since then, she's been afraid. Terrified. Of frogs. Literally terrified. Yeah, I, it just ruined me for life. Here's the best part of this stamp set. This is called At the Pond. There is a two-step stamp that fits inside of here. And look, if you just line up the eyeballs, look, 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 look. And I love, look at the texture this gives. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Okay, I have to tell you, this is going to be different than my other one because I forgot a little something. But I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Now, there's a different one because there's two different frog images because there's some really cute accessories in here. Again, look for those eyeballs. This stamp set is a host only stamp set. Now, what does that mean? That means that you have to place a $150 order and then you can redeem it with stamp and rewards. Okay, how's my doing on time? Uh oh. You're doing good. I need the fresh freesia ink, but for the life of me, I can't find oh, it. Oh, I have it. Oh, well that would explain why I don't have it. Here. Oh, thank you for letting me borrow that. Here we go, fresh freesia ink. 
like I said, going to be a little different than my other one. Let's give you a little heart there. This is all part of that stamp set. With Stampin' Rewards, with an order of that size, Stampin' Up! gives you all kinds of privileges for you to enjoy some extra free products, okay? And you can redeem exclusive host products like this one at the pond, or you can uh, use it for anything else in the catalog. A lot of people don't know that. Save up your order and place one big one. Get a big wish list going, save up, and then place it because the perks are great. And right now through tomorrow for celebration, not only are you going to get that, you're going to get three $50 level celebration rewards, or one at the 50 and one at the 100. Oh my gosh, I just you, might make um, this. expound on the 150 or 300 thing? There's kind of a confusion. You mean 150? For the host rewards. There's confusion. When you spend $150 in product before shipping and tax, Stampin' Up! provides their own rewards called Stampin' Rewards. And then they provide you extra rewards. They're called Stampin' Rewards. It's like free dollars. You know? Kind of like Kohl's Cash, right? So it's not 300 it's What? Did I say 300 I can't. Just trying to make sure. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We got one here. We're going to put one over here. Cute. We're going to put one like over here. Stagger them. them, okay? Good. All right. Do I have time to stamp this greeting? I mean... Oh, I, eight seconds! Oh, I my gosh! Oh, okay. my God! All right, here we go. One, oh, look at this crooked. One, two, three. There we go. No. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, well, it's not perfect. I'm telling you what. I'm not into speed stamping, but I did it. Okay, I have to tell you the one in your project sheet is slightly different. Let me show it to you. Okay, I forgot Cute. to the pull tongue. out. The I forgot to pull out the image of the tongue. This stamp set is so adorable, but you can see that it has no greetings. So pull out some of your other ones and have fun with them. You'll see the tongue here, and then I just colored this in with Stampin' Blends markers, which I didn't do on these. But you know what? I don't it's think cute. if you if you didn't see this, you would never know, right? So adorable. All right, now I'm going to tell you right now, she's pulled out the stops for this last card. It's not a five-minute card. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a five-minute put-together card. Yes, but you want to see but. this. This is a bonus for tonight. No, I don't know if it's a bonus. It's your I, project sheet. I think it's a bonus. I think it's amazing. Yeah, it is in the project sheet. Yeah, so it's not a bonus. I say it's a bonus because it's not necessarily a five-minute card. It's not five minutes from start to finish, but it's five minutes when you put it together. Yeah. So oh, that's what I'm focusing on. Just brace yourself. It's so stunning. You're going to love it. And should I time you? Or you should, should I, because I, sh I just like hearing the buzzer. You know, <laughs> I've heard it already twice. Okay. Well, let Let's you, just, you know. We'll let you hear the buzzer. Let's go for it. Because you right. never know. I All might right. I might be able to do it. All right. Well, I'm just setting my stuff up. Just one second. Yeah. Because we have to move all the frogs out of the way, right? Yes. How many blocks do most of you have at home? I would love to know. How many clear blocks do most of you own? Um, here, because we stamp a lot and together, sometimes when she comes over, mostly we stamp at our own studios, at our own homes. But I found that having multiple blocks of the most common sizes, like, yep. like C block, can't live without that. I right? like the D block. The D block. Good one. Yep. All right. Tell so, me when you're ready. Um, sure. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Ready? I don't know why I'm putting this up. Go ahead. Go for it. All right, so I'm using Beautifully Happy Celebration, Tomorrow's Last Day. Gorgeous. I love this. This it's is a $100 so level. It is, and it, I think it's well worth it, too, for free. Totally. I'm also using Frame Florets. I love this um, die-cutting image. We're going to be using this one and the larger one also, this one right here. So just keep your eye out on that. So first things first, I want to do some stamping. I'm not going to show you all the steps of this. But I did want to show you how to two-step stamp with this stamp set. Another thing I wanted to kind of point out is that you don't always need to use Memento as ink as your base I'm color. I'm just noticing that. It's, wait till you see this. so yeah. striking. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be using, uh, what is this? Rich Razzleberry? Rich, no. Blackberry Bliss. Oh, Blackberry. Sorry. They're close. And I'm going to be er, firm even pressure. I'm out of your frame again. Sorry. Got a big belly. And I'm going to do it just like that. Another thing I want to point out, I don't know if anybody else has trouble with this, but sometimes I'm just like, how how did I do this? I put it on here and then it's not right. Right. You kind of So what I do it. is I actually mimic it before oh, I put it on. Oh, is that smart. So that it's already kind of in the position that I need it to be on. Okay, that's brilliant. All right, then I put it on. So now when I ink it up and flip it back over. Why didn't I think of that? It's pretty solid. So here's Fresh Freesia. I'm gonna stamp that. I could have, you know, turned it over. But it's okay. 
All right, and now it's pretty much lined up. I'm just gonna, you know, give that cursory look. That flower center is the key. You see yep. that open? It's so missed, pretty. But... All right. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love it. And when you're done, okay, it looks a little bit like this. So it has the greenery fill for the leaves as it well. It has the greenery mm -hmm. fill in the fill up here. It's as gorgeous. Well. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Okay. So we got that, and then I went ahead and stamped a second one because I want to go ahead and do this too. Because I'm gonna show you something really quick. So what I'm gonna do is I make this center pop out. Okay. We recently did this in a video and I said, that's I did. a good idea, let me steal that. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. So all I'm gonna do is pinch at the center here and I'm gonna start lifting up these edges to kind of bend this paper, manipulate it so it gives it a little bit of, you know, a 3D look. Like so conditioning like the cardstock. Yep. We're breaking down the fibers. It's looking a little bit more like a flower and less like a 2D. Thing. Okay, now Pretty. I'm going to be using a mini glue dot. Let me grab that and my take your pick tool. And all I'm going to do is add it to the back mm -hmm. and then center it right here. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. You can always lift it up more, you know, if you need to. But that's not enough for me. You, you know, know what I like about this is even if it flattens a little bit, which we got a lot of questions about that. We do. You can always use bubble wrap, mm -hmm. you know, put a little bubble wrap in there. You can still see the stamped image underneath. So you got yep. a 3D look. And then I, all Pretty. I did was put a pearl in the center just to give it a little pop. One of those iridescent pearls. All right. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to pull out the rest of my card here. Oh. This, I love this. Absolutely oh gorgeous. Look at this shimmer paper. It comes in two other colors as well. Soft succulent and uh, some kind of blue. I don't remember. Do you remember? But it's gold. Excuse me. It it's is. Gold. It's gold, freesia, and succulent. Yep. yep. And then I'm also using that Blackberry Bliss. Same paper. Yeah, same That's paper. crazy. Um, and then what I need to do, because can you grab me the cut and emboss machine real quick? Because sure. I want to show them something. So what I'm going to be doing is actually using the hearts right here. But I want to show you that it's not intimidating to cut directly in the center of um, your paper. Okay, so, should I move this out of the way? I'm thinking. Yes, thank you. We don't want to ruin that. Now, do you want to crank sideways or do you want to crank this way? No, I'll, I'll I mean, crank this way. Okay, hold on. I'm going to move that out of the way. Try to teach this as best as I can. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the center. Now, I don't do anything straight. You don't do anything straight. Nope. We're just, you know, gonna do the best that we can. I'm gonna eyeball this. The trick here is using. Oh can my you gosh! Pull it out yes, for me? this. Yes, this is the post-it note tape. If you don't know what this is, run to our craft room favorites right now. I'm serious. It saves my life, save your life. Oh my gosh, can't work without it. Basically what it is going to do is gonna hold my die in place so that when I run it through the machine, it doesn't shift or wiggle. Which makes it's me a so lifesaver, okay? And guess what? I don't think you can see this, but we leave the extra strips right here on the handle of the machine because you can reuse them about five or six times. Yep, you can use it a lot. This is the same rule I bought two years ago. Yes. Okay, so then when I go ahead and take this off, the other great thing about this is that it doesn't rip your paper. Yes. So it's and again, not, you it's can low reuse tech. it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I love. Let me try to... Ooh, look at all that heart, all the negatives that came out. Yeah, so what I wanted was all the the negative look here. I mean, look how beautiful it die cuts. Okay, yes, we don't we care know, about we that. We know, we know. We already warned them in the beginning. All this right. card's so worth it. Wait till you see this. I'm almost done. But this could be confetti if you felt like it, right? Yep. You can put it in a shaker card. Okay. I'm into those right now. Okay. All right. Then I also die cut two of these. So all I did was take this and then took the negative and also pulled it out. So when you die cut this, you get both the inside and the frame. It does yep. double duty, which I yep. love for this die set. Love it. And then you can also see that I also die cut... Mm -hmm. Two of the leaves. There's these pieces here. Okay, so now we're going to put this together. This is the fun part. So I'm going to go ahead and layer this. You got some pieces still stuck. I'm going to use. It's all right. Okay. I'm going to use some adhesive in the corners. So pretty. Layer this. Oh, look at that. I just love the pop and the shimmer, don't you? Yeah. I know that your belly's kind of in the way, but I'm going to have you move up just a smidgen. There you go. All right. And you're still standing and haven't sat. You know. I'm really proud. All right. Here we go. This is oh, beautiful. I should have put the right way. That would have been bad. Center it right there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put these on the inside. So I wouldn't use, take liquid glue here. But I, 
I do not have time for that. <laughs> As you can tell, we're already out of time. So I'm just going to use some glue dots here. Okay. Um, I'd go all the way around with your liquid glue. Okay. And the best thing is the precision tip glue bottle. Yeah. yeah. So the liquid glue is sold in our online store. This is the multi-purpose liquid glue. And what we did is we took it a step further because we found the tip on that wasn't narrow mm -hmm. enough. And we purchased these precision glue applicators. We have this linked for you in our craft room favorites, but I'm going to tell you, this makes the tiniest whole little dot of glue you've ever seen. And it's going to make your life so easy. So you can get in those little tight areas. And again, it's not a, this is not a Stampin' Up! product. This Correct. is. This is in our store. Correct. But you're going to love this. Tons and tons of difference. I don't like glue until I got this change, game plan change. All right. So now what I'm doing is I'm just adding some dimensionals to the back of this uh, flower that oh, I've already pre-cut. so pretty. Two-step stamping is gorgeous. And this stamp set, Stampin' Up! has a patent on distinctive stamps, which means when they stamp the solid on the inside, it's textured. I mean, oh, I wish you were here to see all the shimmer. I know camera never picks it up. All right. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I guess I am going to use some of this. Okay. Um, just a little bit easier. You have to shake that down because I think it's getting near the bottom. Okay. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit to the back here just so I can... Oh, perfect. And then I'm just going to kind of stick these whimsically oh, wherever pretty. I can. Pretty. So it's attaching it to the frame. Yep, I'm just attaching it to the frame. Then I'll add some more glue. And this is why I love that nozzle. By the way, we like with this needle pen, we like to drag the tip. Oh, yes. Because it makes it even thinner and it allows you to disperse the glue, kind of stretch it out. Mm -hmm. Now, again, from tonight, you may not necessarily love the cards, but we're hoping you're going to glean color concept to color combinations mm -hmm. and layout ideas. Mm -hmm. Oval dies are fantastic. You're definitely going to want to get your hands on these. I sadly think that they are currently not available. Mm -hmm. I know. But you know what? There's more coming. That's the good news. So just hang tight. We've got more coming your way. Um, and then you stamped a greeting. Stamped a greeting. I just got to make sure it's going the right, right way. Is the greeting from the same stamp set? It is. You don't need any other stamp set. I can't believe we both zigzagged ribbon tonight. That's crazy. Gotta love it. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is kind of adhere this with a dimensional because we're coming off. Yeah. So, you know, the dimensionals often use double duty to help to anchor things down before you elevate them as well. Okay. Then I'll give this a haircut in just a second. Okay. I'm gonna kind of put this over here in that far corner. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna, you know, give it a little trim. Pretty. Trim. And just to finish it off, I love these iridescent rhinestones. I do too. But you know what really was interesting to me? You chose a different element here than you are putting on the base of your card. Yes. Which I think is brilliant because it gives the card added texture and flair. I mean, this is a card that's going to really wow them. And seriously, for those of you watching live, this is not a hard card to make. There's some die cutting involved, but it's not difficult. No. Now, there is no die for the Celebration Stamp Set, but it's okay. easy to cut. Again, leave that border all the way around it. Oh, my God. Look at the shimmer on this. Can you see it? Oh, is that not gorgeous? I mean, absolutely breathtaking. All right, let's bring in the cards that we made tonight so you get a quick overview, especially if you're joining us late for the live stream. Obviously, this was the one Gina just made, and there's her carrot card. This was the one I made. This is the prettier one. <laughs> the one I made with I cut out the designer paper. So use those elements. And then I have carrot card. my carrot card. Then my masculine owl card. And then my frog card. Now, here's the great news. All of these are going to be inside your project yes. sheet. So all six of those designs yep. are there for you. And, and, dimensions, and join those supplies. color combinations and layouts. And use the stamp sets yep. you have at home. Or treat yourself to something new right now before celebration ends tomorrow. Yes. A couple of things we want to make sure that you are well aware about. First of all, there is an amazing starter kit special right now with celebration. If you've ever thought of maybe becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, oh, they hate that word sometimes. They do, but don't be. Scared. Don't be, because we use that word very loosely. We love people like yourself who want to discount on their stamping supplies and don't want to sell. That's yep. totally fine. We would love to have you join our stamping team. Yep. Head over to my website and click on join. And there's a whole bunch of information there. And guess what? There are three options right now for a really special starter kit that you can actually join with. And you have the choice of three. One of them, option three, is $175 in product of your choice for $99. But it ends 
tomorrow. If you need more information, you can contact me through my website as well. Make sure you head over to lisastampstudio.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom because we have the word subscribe. <laughs> we want to make sure you sign up for the free weekly e-newsletter where I provide you a project that's not shared on any of my platforms. While you're on the website, you'll find all about my generous ordering rewards that are very exclusive for you, as well as a vast PDF tutorial library. And while you're there, memberships. Memberships. <laughs> We're both trying to squeeze into a small frame. So we started Stamp Studio memberships in January, yes. and it has been a huge success. So many of you are telling us you love it. $5 a month, you're going to get an additional email every Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern time with a project that is made exclusively. And you make them. I Oh, yeah, I make them. Yes. Exclusively for memberships. Mm -hmm. Photographs, step-by-step -step instructions, cutting dimensions, supplies. The full PDF tutorial. And, by the way, you have full reign to do yep. whatever you want with it. So if you're a demonstrator mm -hmm. and you need help with classes or right. you know project ideas, mm -hmm. this is perfect for you. Or if you're just a stamper who just needs ideas, this is also yes. perfect for you. It's a dollar, basically, a card. Right, for every week's tutorial. Yeah. You can find the information on my website. Just click memberships. There you got information. Contact me and I'd be happy to help you. We want you to stick around now for the live stream. Um, Q &A. That is, Yeah, we're doing the live stream Q&A. Yes. Thank you. So if you want to put in a question right now, we will answer it live for you. We'll do about five. Yeah. yeah. Type the letter Q in a colon and then your question. That allows us to filter them. We can feature your question right here on the screen. I will be live with you next week. It's a different date. It's going to be on Wednesday, March 8th, as we kick off the March Online Card Class. <laughs> My gosh, these cards are so awesome. You're really going to enjoy these. So mark your calendar to come back here to my YouTube channel next Wednesday, March 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You won't be here with me then, but you'll be moderating. moderating. You'll be yeah. moderating. All right. If you need to go and you can't stay for the Q&A, thank you so much yes. for coming tonight. We had fun. This is not our normal live stream, but we hope that you enjoyed the inspiration that we shared. Don't forget your project sheet. Yes. We'll look forward to seeing the rest of you next week. Now, we're ready to do the Q&A. Let's do it. Let's filter it. Okay. All so right. I'm going to let Gina get in there. And for those of you watching for the first time, yeah, we are in a very tight corner here. Um, so this is literally a corner with just a little bit of a countertop. And yeah, we are squeezed in here. So we often have to stagger ourselves so that we're inside your camera view. Please remember that there is a delay between when we speak and you hear it and when you type and we see it. But Gina's working the Alrighty. filter. Okay. Linda Gibbs says, how do you prevent the stamp and seal plus from tearing the paper when using it? I try a light touch and it still tears. Okay. When your paper is embossed, which means you put it through the embossing machine, and remember, it conditions the paper backing. So number one, you have to use a super light hand or switch to liquid glue. The stamp and seal is an amazing adhesive, but it's stronger than most of them on the market, especially the stamp and seal plus. So if you're finding that that's a problem, even on all your card stocks, it's probably you're still applying too much pressure. The one thing about this adhesive I have found out, there's a little bit of a learning curve. I love it, but there's a little bit of a learning curve. If you're finding for whatever reason when you're using it that it's actually come out and it's like malfunctioned, you need to contact me if I'm your demonstrator or your demonstrator to let them know that you have a defective refill and Stampin' Up! will be happy to replace that for you. Within 90 days, just contact me if I'm your demonstrator or your demonstrator with the original order number and Stampin' Up! will be happy to help you. But I hope that tip helps. Sometimes I struggle with that if I'm in a hurry and I press too hard. So it's just kind of all in the wrist action. All righty. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a dry throat. This is from Carrie McDonald. She said, is it important to change your bone folder occasionally? I've had mine for years. The answer is no. no. You can keep it until you just don't want to look at the ugliness of it anymore. Ours are so dirty and gunked up. But I find that a alcohol prep pad cleans them off beautifully and they look almost brand new. But nope, you never have to replace it. It's a one-time buy. All right, and then Lori Briggs says, <clears throat> can you buy anything you want with the demonstrator package, also known as the starter, starter kit? kit. And yes. the answer is yes. Don't you love that? You have to stay within that $175. That's only good till tomorrow for $99. You have to stay within the $175. Do your math. All right, and then Pam Kim said, what is the best way to organize your paper inks by family group or colors? We actually have a very awesome digital download that you can download by going to our website. 
He's a stampsmuted.com. Click yeah. shop, then go down to digital downloads, and we have our color families all grouped together for you. That's what you see back there. Yep, that's how we store everything here. Yep. Um, there's also a video here on my YouTube mm -hmm. channel that says new craft room tour. It goes through everything, so yes. check that out. All right. I will answer this really quick. Okay, and I need a drink of water. Susan I'm... Hammond, Gina, what are you going to name your baby? We're going to figure that out when the baby's coming. We have names, but we're yeah. keeping it to ourselves. They don't even know. No, we don't. Um, they just decided, and Gina and her husband decided that they did not want to know the sex yep. of their baby. They want to be surprised, which I think is wonderful because nowadays there's so few surprises left. And I said, do you have names? And she said, yes. I can't get even an initial, okay? <laughs> I have no idea. And you know what? I think I respect that because I think nowadays sometimes too many people pass judgment on your choices. Mm -hmm. And I respect that that's their decision. And we're going to love it no matter what it's called. We'll call it it. We don't care. We love it. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> right now we're calling it it because we don't right know. Right now we just keep calling it yes. baby. Um, <laughs> that's okay. a great question, though. And one we've been asked um, in emails, actually. Yes. Okay. The Shira. Hi, My Shira. ink blend blends everywhere. Bleeds everywhere. Okay. I was trying to say it. Lots of ink. Well, why could this be and what could I do to fix it? Okay, I'm assuming, Deshira, you're talking about your ink pad? Um, or do you think she means her blends? Or her alcohol. Let's answer both. Okay. Okay, just in case. So okay. your pad first. Okay. If, let me grab one. Well, but the Blackberry Bliss is kind of actually doing it. All right, so let's turn the camera down. Okay, and okay. let me move these out of the way because we don't want to ruin oh. these pretty cards. Did we? No, we, right. we saved it. We're you good. can kind of see it's bleeding. Okay, so sometimes when, keep in mind when your ink pads are shipped to you, they're going through temperature changes mm -hmm. and all kinds of tumbling, all right? So they're being rustled and tumbled, and they're really well inked when you first get them. Yes. So if you find that the plastic around the ink pad is seeping before you even unwrap it, that's a halt. Yep. And you contact, contact your, your demonstrator, demonstrator with the original order number, yep. and we will replace it for you. We do not expect you to tackle that. You'll notice on these highly pigmented inks, this one kind of seeps a little bit on the side. This one is well inked, and I'll be honest with you, it's not a color that I use all the time. And it's probably really, really juicy. Now, I'm going to tell you a Lisa hack, and I'm going to get a lot of backslash for this. Hmm. But if you find, I mean, you're opening it, the plastic wasn't soiled and you really think it's too juicy, I want you to take a couple sheets of scratch paper and I want you to blot it. Because if it's really, really wet, you're just gonna soak up just a little bit, yep. okay? You can't use it if it's soaking wet. So you need to kind of do something. That would be number one. Now let's talk about the Stampin' Blends markers. Let me grab one, I have one here. Here, oh, I have some too. Okay, do you? All right, all right. So yeah, let's use your darker ones. Um, there's really nothing here to color, but I'm gonna give you an idea. Remember that these are alcohol-based and alcohol spreads. Yep. So if you lay them down too heavily or too close to the outline of your image, let's just use this section right here. If I were to lay this too heavily here and I have to allow the alcohol to spread, it will go outside the lines. The most important thing you need to remember about alcohol-based markers is to take your time. You have to let this first coat dry or that alcohol base to evaporate before you start using the next layer. And in this case, I can lay these, you know, next to each other. But if you work too quickly, that's what's gonna happen. The alcohol is gonna spread. I'm hoping that those two tips mm -hmm. will help you a little bit when you go to use your ink pads and your markers. Yep, one more question. Okay. We'll wrap it up. Okay, one more this, for tonight. This is a question I wanna answer real quick. Okay. All right, so Susan said, do we get to see Gina's stomach if she doesn't mind? I don't mind, but there's no way for me to Get myself up for you. Unless it wet her. I need, I, need just, a, no. I need a giant step stool. No, because the camera here is anchored on a boom from yes. the ceiling. So and there's no way. There's no way we can manipulate But and I'm not keeping it from you. If you go to our Facebook page or Instagram, mm -hmm. Lisa Stamp Studio, we did yep. post one today. That's a current 30-week belly. Uh -huh. um, this also is my very last live until I have the baby, mm -hmm. which is kind of true, kind of not. If you're going to attend online stamping retreat on April 22nd, yeah. I will be live for that. I will be here mm -hmm. 38 weeks pregnant, <laughs> but I will be, <laughs> here. will be here. We're super excited um, about So that that's event. my last, last one till the baby. But this is my last live here, so I wanted to make sure I answered all the baby questions that I saw. Yes. So you yes. had the answers to those. So yes. we don't know the gender. We're not sharing the name, and we have baby bump pictures on our social media pages. We do. I know we're going to get this question. When are you coming back? 
I am coming. So my maternity leave starts on May 1st. Mm -hmm. If you got our January email that we send out. Yeah, you want to send out for our newsletter. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you that We right send now. out a yearly email. It's called New Year, New Changes. It always comes out mm -hmm. on January 1st. We give you all the updates for the stamp studio in that one email. Yeah. The one that was in there was about my pregnancy. And we also told you about our friend, my friend, our Grace, family, friend, family friend, Grace. She's going to come on board when I am on maternity leave. Mm -hmm. She's incredible. She's going to be the interim moderator. She's also going to do some of the things that I normally do behind the scenes yep. and kind of help out. You're going to absolutely love her. She's also a mama to a beautiful little girl named Daisy. Yeah, she's, she's the cutest. Awesome. She just turned one in February, literally this month. Um, so yeah, my maternity leave starts on May 1st, and then I'll come back off of maternity leave in August, mm -hmm. and I'll start moderating again. And then I'll be live for a party with the Stamp Studio, which is an in-person event we host September here. September will be in September. September or August? Uh, I think it's August. I think it's in August. And then I I'll be live <laughs> again at the end of September. This is why she's the marketing director, because yes. I can't keep all the dates straight. Yes, okay. And then I saw this real quick. When does... The registration, registration for, for the, the retreat, retreat open. open. I do want to answer that. Somebody just talked about it. Yeah, Deborah, thank you for that yes. question. So, Deborah, it opens on April 1st. Yes. Okay, and that's Australia time. So, if you think like I do, that means it's actually March 31st for the USA. <laughs> um, so, that's $45. You get all day with us, Kylie yeah. and Bruno Petucci. We have 32 projects it's to share with you. Projects. Six lives. You get over 125 page tutorial, unlimited access. You mm -hmm. get the whole shebang, man. We're going to have a really yeah. good time. OnlineStampingRetreat.com. It has yep. its own website, yep. and we partner with Kylie Bertucci. She's the number one Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Delightful and incredibly talented. Mm -hmm. We have cards for all of you that you're going to love. So we want to make sure that you mark March 31st or April, April 1st, 1st whatever one. on your calendar, depending on what country you live in. And guess what? It doesn't matter what country you live in. We'd love to have you since it's a virtual event and she will be there. We'll be there. She will be there. The only reason I'm not going to be there is if I'm in labor, but you know what? I'm going to be there. No, she's going to be there. I'm going to be there. When does the first baby come early? It never it does. It never does. We no. also have a backup plan in case I do. No, yeah. It's <laughs> going to be good. We have enjoyed our time with you tonight. Again, yes. if it's your first time, thanks for your patience with us. It's not normally this informal, but we enjoy doing this with you. Thank you all for your business and for watching tonight. And I will be back with you next Wednesday on March 8th. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.